Welcome to another episode of Tips from Thumper. My little Boston is only three years old, but he gets into everything. And in just three short years, Thump the Bump has learned a lot about being a pup, especially from his late sisters, Zarina and Olympia. And he'd like to pass on to you in today's tip what he's learned about living with and loving senior dogs. You know, Thumper first met his sisters when he was eight weeks old, and both girls were a little over 10 years at the time. And for the next two years, the girls, especially Zarina, the pup mother of the brood, took him and Allegra under her wing and taught them the meaning of love, loyalty, and courage. Zarina was a mother figure for both Thumper and Allegra. Allegra loved to crawl all over Zarina and snuggle atop her. When she had had enough, she let them know, but she never, ever harmed or growled at the babies. Olympia at first hid in the bathroom from baby Allegra when she first arrived, but then warmed up to her, and when Allie couldn't find Zarina, Olympia was just as comfy. Zarina and Olympia were both ball fanatics, which could be where Thumper learned his craft. And as the girls got older, well, those balls were never far away. And as the girls continued to gray in age, you almost felt that with their remaining time, they were imparting words of wisdom to the little ones. To be sure to always stay close to mommy and watch over her. Zarina and Olympia were both born five months apart, and the girls were incredibly bonded to each other. Where one went, the other was close by, always in eyesight of each other and me. When the girls turned 12 years old in 2020, it was then that I instinctively felt that the end was not far off. Both girls had been diagnosed with intervertebral disc disease, but while Pia had the spinal surgery and successfully recovered, Zarina's was inoperable and I was warned by the neurologist that she would continue to deteriorate until she lost the use of her hind legs. Zarina began wearing her harness almost full-time in early 2020 and slowly became incontinent. I bathed her and cleaned up after her, and despite the daily extra work, I didn't mind because she gave me a lifetime of loyalty and love, and her five senses were still intact. Unable to make the stairs any longer, Zarina slept in the hallway at night. That was the closest she and Pia could be the, to the rest of us upstairs. It was only when I saw her struggle to come to me one day, to always be at my side, that I broke down and made the decision that it wasn't about me. It was about her. She, and later Pia, needed to die with the dignity they both so deserved. And this is the way that pups should die, in the arms of their owners, after a lifetime of love, loyalty, and joy that they gave us. They shouldn't end up like this. All too many times I'm reading lately about senior dogs being dumped, abandoned by their owners at a shelter. And to people who are thinking of getting a dog or a little puppy, remember that they should be a lifetime commitment. If you think your dog is too much work, you don't have enough time, you, you decide to give the dog up to a shelter, please think long and hard about your decision. If you think, well, my dog won't have any problem getting adopted, think again. Not all of them do. In many of the shelters, only 10% get adopted and walk out alive. So Thumper's tip to you today is a pup should be a lifetime commitment. Despite our own personal troubles and heartaches, there are a pair of eyes that tell you it will be all right, and a soft coat to hold on to. We all will be old someday and maybe need an extra pair of hands to help us. And as your pup ages, let your memories of the really good times you had together help you care for your pup until the time comes to say, Goodbye.